In a bustling city that twinkled under the night sky, I found myself standing before a mirror, the reflection unfamiliar yet exhilarating. The man I knew morphed into an expression of my hidden self, draped in a dress that sparkled blue like the ocean kissed by the sun. I was one of the, boys, but tonight, we were anything but that. Going out with the boys isn't what it used to be, I mused, a smile playing on my glossy lips. It started as a dare, a challenge amongst friends to step out of our comfort zones. It became our tradition, our escape. We were engineers by day, trapped in the rigidity of lines and numbers, but by night, we transformed. Mascara lines replaced the lines of code, and laughter filled the spaces between us. Tonight, I stand in heels that elevate not just my height but my spirit. The boys, my comrades in this adventure, are by my side, equally adorned in their chosen attire. We are not just cross-dressing, we are crossing into a world where the only rule is to be unapologetically oneself. We sashay through the city, our laughter a melody that blends with the urban symphony. People stare, some in awe, some in judgment, but it doesn't faze us. We've built a fortress of freedom around us, a sanctuary where the only admission is authenticity. Going out with the boys, I whisper to my reflection, has never felt more liberating, more genuine. It's not what it used to be, and darling, that's the magic of it all. We meander down the boulevard, a blend of nervous excitement and brazen confidence, until the warm glow of a boutique clothing store beckons us. The storefront is an inviting canvas of pastel colors and mannequins dressed in the latest fashion. We exchange glances, a silent agreement passing between us, and push open the door. The chime of the bell announces our arrival. The store smells of lavender and something more, possibility. Racks of dresses await, each a promise of a new persona. We giggle, already shedding the last remnants of our daily facades, and we call ourselves, the girls, for the first time in public. Look at this one, I exclaim, fingers grazing over a velvet dress that whispers of moonlit dances and forgotten romances. We sift through the hangers with a reverence, each piece more tantalizing than the last. The shop assistant watches us with a curious eye but offers a smile that's both welcoming and complicit. She understands the unspoken, we are here not just to buy dresses but to buy moments, memories, freedoms. I glide into the fitting room with a few selections, the curtain swishing closed behind me. The first dress is a misfit, but the second, oh, the second, is like slipping into a dream. It falls over my shoulders and hugs my waist with a tenderness that surprises me. I step out, and the girls cheer, their applause a symphony to my ears. We'll take them, we chorus, and it's not just the dresses we're claiming, but this night, this identity, this life where we can be whoever we wish to be, even if just for a while. As we pay and thank the assistant, we vow to make these outings more frequent. The girls need their wardrobe, we laugh, and in that laughter is the sound of barriers breaking and hearts opening. Flushed with the success of our shopping spree, we clutch our bags of newfound treasures and make our way to the party that had been the talk of the town. The address leads us to a loft pulsating with music, a beacon for the night's revelers. We exchange nervous glances, our hearts racing with the thrill of the unknown. As we step into the loft, the thumping bass of the music greets us like an old friend, beckoning us to join the dance of flashing lights and shadowy figures. We are, the girls, tonight, and we allow this identity to envelop us, to dance in heels that click rhythmically against the wooden floor. The party is a carousel of faces and laughter, a whirlwind of conversations and clinking glasses. We move with a newfound grace, our earlier shopping conquests now displayed proudly, our dresses twirling with every step. We attract attention, some curious, some admiring, all intrigued by our confidence and the sheer joy we exude. I find myself by the makeshift bar, ordering drinks with a fluttering hand, the sparkle of my blue dress catching the light. Four cosmopolitans, please, I say, my voice steady yet tinged with the excitement of the character I play. We toast to life, to bravery, to the sheer delight of self-expression. As we sip our drinks, we chat and laugh, not just with each other but with strangers who become friends as the night deepens. We are complimented, and we compliment in return, basking in the camaraderie that only a night like this can foster. The dance floor beckons, and we answer its call. 
The music envelops us, a driving beat that commands our bodies to move, to express the joy we feel. We dance unabashedly, spinning and laughing, our earlier purchases swishing around us, a testament to our adventure. We are girly girls, and we are magnificent. In these hours, we are not bound by the rules of day-to-day -day life. We are free, we are bold, and we are beautiful. As the night wanes and the first hints of dawn beckon, we know that this evening will be etched in our memories, a night when we truly lived as our most vibrant selves.